Hey guys, so I'm here with Gray and we are about to go in for his doctor's appointment. He was supposed to have his two-year-old doctor's appointment back in April when he turned two. It is May now. It's actually been a month since he turned two, a month and a day. And we had to wait because of the whole coronavirus thing. So finally things are opening back up and it is now safe ish i guess to take your kids to go see their pediatrician i'm gonna wear my mask um yeah grayson's not gonna wear one because he won't he won't keep it on and it'll just make him touch his face more so he won't but i will because they are recommending that we wear one so we are gonna go he's we're gonna see how big he is are we gonna see the doctor and he's sad because he thought we were gonna go see aunt allison <laughs> this is not aunt allison's house so we're gonna go in and um, he's probably gonna get a shot. He doesn't know that, <laughs> but it'll be okay. We'll get through it, but yep, we're gonna go and we'll see, we'll see how busy they are. I don't know how many people will be in the waiting room. Usually there's a lot, so. Okay, are you ready? Okay. 17. on the bench. <gasps> what do you think? Are you at the doctor's office? <laughs> you went down. <laughs> so much fun. This smart bed is little floor here to get him to stand on the scale. One. One. his height and his weight. He's got his temperature. Four. 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 Playing with the bench? Bench. Coming back up? Back up. Hi. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't sit still. So we are home from the pediatrician's office. We are swinging. It's a little chilly today, 54, 55, but it's sunny. So we are out <laughs> swinging. Grayson had a good appointment. He had, he didn't have to get any shots, huh? Yeah, so no shots. I thought for sure he would get some cause he's had them like every appointment. But it looks like he won't be having to get shots until he's four or five, probably going into kindergarten. So that's really fun to know and exciting. Um, so yeah, no shots. He did cry though because anytime the nurse or the doctor would get near him, he freaked out. He did not want them touching him. He didn't want them looking in his eyes or his ears or touching his belly. Like he was so freaked out. Poor thing, I had to like hold him down. <laughs> but everything was fine. They took his weight and he was um, 28 pounds, which he is in like the 48th percentile for weight. And then they took his height and he's 35 and a half inches tall, which puts him in the 79th percentile, which is so crazy because he's so tall. Like that means he's so tall, which makes sense because everyone's always like, wow, he looks so tall for his age. And he's like growing out of 2T clothes. Um, so it totally makes sense. Like all his pants are high waters, but like they're falling off of him because he has no waist because he, he has no weight. So um, his BMI is like in the 22nd percentile because he's all height and no weight. So, <laughs> so yeah, that was funny. And then his head circumference, he's like 42nd percentile for head. And he's always had like a smaller head. So yeah, anyway, those are the stats. Everything was normal. I asked the pediatrician about milk because we have him on whole milk and I wanted to know if she wanted me to switch it, but she said to keep him on whole milk as long as I could, that that was the best. 
And then I also asked her, he's been having really dry skin lately. He's been scratching at his legs anytime he doesn't have pants on and that's gonna happen more often with summer coming and shorts. Um, and so I asked her, cause I, I've been putting Aquaphor on him, but it doesn't seem to be helping. So she said to get some, I think she said, called it hydrogen cortisol and put that on. So I need to go to the store and like find that. <laughs> and she said that would help. So um, I don't have dry skin. I sometimes get it on my hands and my face in the winter, but for the most part, like I don't have problems with that. I don't ever really need lotion, but Anthony has really dry skin. He always has dry skin and he doesn't put anything on his skin. He just deals with it, but I feel bad for Gray. So I'm gonna try and go to the store some, at some point and see if I can find some lotion for his legs. Other than that, Gray was healthy and we don't have to go back until three. It's a whole year. Huh, so it was good. Um, I wore a mask, Gray didn't. The doctor wore a mask, the nurse wore a mask. It was very cleanly. Cleanly, is that the word? Um, the, they didn't have us wait in the waiting room at all. We went straight to a room. So they were just trying to keep it very clean and have us touch as little things as possible. So it was all good. I'm glad it's over. We don't have to go back for a year. And now we're just hanging out. Anthony's working. Anthony's back to work. He started back yesterday, so he is not furloughed anymore. Um, but he is wor still working from home. So he's working from home. He's actually up in the room behind me with the light on, working on his computer. And yeah, life is kind of getting back to normal. Today in Ohio, all the malls and all the retail areas opened up. And then on Friday, so in three days, restaurants with outdoor patios can open and uh, hair, nail, those kind of services can open. And also tattoo and massage places can open on Friday as well. So things are opening up. We're just waiting for those days to come, but yeah, the malls were open and things are getting back to normal, which is always good. Are you drawing with the chalk? So Grayson has really come to enjoy drawing with sidewalk chalk. He can draw obviously wherever he wants and it's not dirty. Yeah, and so he likes it when I draw shapes and he points them out to me. The only problem with it is he likes to then like roll <laughs> on top of the chalk and it gets all over his clothes and all over his skin. So I have to give him a bath. That's the only thing I don't like about sidewalk chalk is it can be a little messy even though it's outside. You need help? What do you want me to draw? Do you want me to draw the sun? Okay, here, I'll draw the sun. Ready? There, it's the sun. Do you like it? Oh, Mr. Sun. Oh, Mr. Sun. Sun. Mr. Golden Sun. Please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hide and behind a tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Do you hear the airplane? There's been lots of airplanes in the sky today. It's a beautiful day for airplanes. We're just drawing. Ah, uh, uh, don't eat, don't eat that. Don't eat a rock. That's yuck. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about, that it gets all over his clothes. He just rolled over this rainbow that I made and the rainbow is now on his pants. He's got it on his pants, on his shoes, on his jacket. It's everywhere. I even got it on my <laughs> pants. Gosh dang it. 
just scoots, oh yeah, all over his butt. This is great. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's wonderful. I wanted to give you all an update on our landscaping. We have finished this par portion of it. Um, we put down all the stones and lined it and all the black mulch finished the tarp and it is done and we really like it it looks awesome so next Anthony is working on right here around this big tree on our side yard we're gonna do the same thing and keep going but yeah I really like how how it turned out it took us a week a little less than a week to get it done it's been raining the past couple days, so we haven't been able to get as far on this portion, but we're hoping to get to it more today and tomorrow.